In this lecture, we are going to do the project in Archicad 24. So for that, what we are going to do is first of all, we will go to new. And after that, clicking after clicking on that one, let's close. If you are getting this message, just simply close that one. Okay. So here I will uh, go with this Archicad 24 default template. So I just simply need to click here and the work environment you will see here. So what I will do is I will click on default profile okay and after setting these two you just simply need to click on done so as you can see here that it is taking some time but don't worry about that okay so as you can see here that this is our uh, default uh, uh, template okay that we have just chosen so let's say that you want to enter the uh, project detail so for that what you have to do is you have to go to file here on this side okay on the left uh, top side let's simply click on this one and after that you have to click on info and click on project detail so here what we are going to do here is that as you can see here that we have this project detail here we have uh, the details related with the project here we have the site detail all the details related with the site here we have the building details all the details related with the building here and we have the contact detail the all the uh, contact detail uh, all the details related with the contact so now as you can see here uh, okay and after that we have this client detail you can see uh, we have all the impo important details that is required that is client full name client company and client full address and all these things are here so basically we need to fill these five things okay in project info so let's look at the project details so let's say your project name is something like just a uh, your build uh, you are uh, let's say any of the project details let's name this one as three story building okay so this is three story building just simply click on yes so this is three story building and uh, also uh, you can see you, you can enter the project description if you have if you have the project id and all these details you can fill here okay and uh, all these details you need to fill here but the thing is that if something is same here let's say that your uh, your contact details if you look at the contact detail uh, if you look at the contact detail let's say you have uh, this contact detail is same and in some cases you have uh, this site detail is same okay so what you can do here is that you can just simply click on this button that is uh, click on sorry this one export so basically what you can do here if you click on this one you can export it to the excel file okay so as you can see here that dot xml is the excel file uh, command so you can export it to the excel file and uh, if you have uh, saved something let's say you have saved uh, saved these details for here let me go to file and let me go to info and click on project detail so after saving that what you can do is you can import the same detail by just clicking on this word button and after that you can locate the same file where you have exported this one okay uh, where you have saved all this detail earlier so in this way you can save you a lot of time um, so if you have if you want to enter this project detail you can enter that one but right now uh, I, I will not uh, go ahead and add this detail so let's simply click on ok so in this way you have to add the project detail in this lecture we are going to set up the working unit so in order to do that what you have to do is you have to just go to options and after that you have to click on project preferences and after that you have to click on working unit so you can see this is how you have to go to working unit so let's click on that one after clicking on that one you will get various details here so as you can see here that uh, 
the length unit is right now set as millimeters. So if you click here in the drop down button, you can clearly see that we have these options available. You can go ahead with meter, decimeter, centimeter, millimeter. Okay. So these are the units that uh, you can use. So this might vary as per your project requirement. So I will go ahead with the millimeters. And if you look at the area unit, you can see that uh, this is a square meter. So what you can do is that I can change this to square, square millimeters as I'm going to work in the millimeter. And if you look at the volume unit, I will also set this one to cubic, uh, let's say centimeter. Okay. Uh, or you have all these options available. So I will go with this uh, cubic centimeter or what I can do is I will set this cubic meter. Okay. To look at the angle unit, you can set right now it is set as uh, uh, degree, uh, decimal degrees. You can change this to, uh, uh, grades or radian or you can go ahead with degrees, uh, minutes and seconds. So I will, so I will stick to a degree. Okay. And from here, uh, you have to choose the precision. So I will change this to two decimal precision. So this is for the precision as you can see here. So uh, like that, you can choose the precision here. Okay. As per your requirement, you can see these are the precision. So also you can here you will get this uh, detail here. So how exactly it will look like if you have set the precision. Okay. As you can see here. And after that, this is the layout unit. So what I will do also, I will set this layout unit to millimeters. And after that, what you have to do here is that if you look at the numbers without the unit, you can see you will uh, see something like this. This is number without units. So I will leave this one as it is. Okay. And after that, I will just simply click on. Okay. So this is how you have to set up the working units. So this is the, this is not the project unit. This is the unit that you want to work with. In this lecture, we are going to see how we can set up the story. So if you want to set up the story, what you have to do is you have to go to the navigator. Okay. And here you will see that right now we have uh, this story defined that is zero at the ground floor, first at a story, second at a story. And now let's say, uh, in many of you, uh, you student have asked me that uh, they have the problem that they didn't see this navigator. Okay. Every time they take their mouse cursor, uh, from away from this region, then this will hide. Okay. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to click on, let's say show na uh, navigator. Okay. Let's click on hide navigator. So in that case, you won't see navigator here. In that case, you have to click here. Okay. And then you have to go here at this button. And after that, you have to click on show navigator. Okay. So in that, in this way, you have to, uh, uh, sort out this problem. If you have that one. Okay. In this way, you can show or hide the navigator. Okay. So now that we have understand this thing. So if you look at the story, so let's say you want to set up the story. So we just need to simply focus on this one. So if you want to setting up the story, you just simply need to right click here. And after that, go to story setting. And here you will get all the details uh, related with the story setting. So let's click on uh, cancel. And let's say you want to uh, set up these uh, story. What you can do here is that uh, uh, you can also use the shortcut. So the shortcut is uh, control and seven. Okay. So even after that, you can access uh, this story setting. So now let's uh, do the, uh, let's see how we can uh, do the modifications here. So if you look here, you will see that we have a zero at ground floor. This is fine. So I will go ahead and I will name this one. So let's name this one as first floor. And after that, we are going to name uh, this one. Okay. You just simply need to go above one and just left click here. So this will be obviously this is zero low. This is first row. I'm going to name this one as roof level. Okay. So now that you have seen this thing that how to name this one. Now let's say that you want to add a story. So what you can do, let's, I will go here. 
Uh, let's say I want to add a story below this. So I just simply need to click on insert below and then we have our story name. So I'm going to name this one as uh, let's say basement. Okay. And now after that, let's say again, you want to add uh, the story below this one. So you can just simply click on insert below. And let's say you want to uh, again, uh, you want to add a story. You can again click on insert below. Let's say you want to add a story above this one. So you just simply need to click on insert above. So in this way, you have to add the story. Now let's say you want to delete this story. So what you can do is you can just select this story and click on delete the story to delete the story, delete the story and delete the story. In this way, you have to delete the story. So as you can see here that we have our basement level. Now that we have understand this thing that how to insert above, how to insert below, how to delete a story, how to rename this one. Okay. So now it's time for uh, this elevation and height to next. The height to next is simply the story to story height. Okay. So you don't, you don't need to worry about that much. So we are going to put all these details as per our project. So here, what I will do, uh, our ground floor is at zero level. That is fine. And I to next, I'm going to put this one as three, seven, four, zero. Okay. And after that, what I will do is I'm going to make some changes in the elevation. So here, if you look at the elevation, this is three, seven, four, zero. That is fine. And I'm going to change this elevation as uh, let's say I'm going to make this one six, uh, triple six, zero. Okay as per our project requirement and if you look at the level you will see that the basement is at 3000 level so what i will do is i will make this one uh, uh high to next it is story to story high to let's make this one 360 okay now let's click here so you can see that all these details whatever we have set is as per our project requirement as you can see here so in this way you have to do the story setting now let me show you one more thing here is that uh, let me keep this one aside and let's go to the elevation here let's go to the east elevation just simply uh, let first of all let me click on ok here and you need to keep this thing here that if you look here that all these lines are tick marks so let's click on ok and now let's go to this elevation let's go to east elevation and in the elevation, you can see that uh, we have successfully set up our all levels. You can see that this is our basement. This is our ground floor. This is our first floor and this is our second floor. But what will happen if I let's say this time I'm going to use the control plus seven in order to bring back uh, this story settings. So what I will do here is that uh, if I simply just go and untick this one, okay, that is the basement level. If I untick this one and after that, I will click on, okay, you will see that uh, this basement level has been gone. So you need to take care of these things. So let me again press control seven to bring this back, back and let's tick mark on this one. And after that, I will click on, okay. So this is all about.